So we're doing morning prayer from the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor for Thursday of week two. Take a moment of silence and uh, then I will begin. An opening from Psalm 143. In the morning, let me know of your love, for I put my trust in you. Show me the way that I must take, for my heart is set on you. Here's a setting of Curtis Beach's 1958 hymn, Oh How Glorious. It's pretty good, pretty good. I mean, she's not Renee Fleming, but it's okay. <laughs> Will you do the reading, please? Yes. A reading from Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how awesome is your name through all the earth. You have set your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have drawn a defense against your foes to silence enemy and avenger. When I see your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have set in place, what are humans that you are mindful of them, mere mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them little less than a god, crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them rule over the works of your hands, put all things at their feet all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how awesome is your name through all the earth. And some other voices first from Beatrice of Nazareth, 
writing in the 13th century. As the fish swims freely in the vastness of the seas, as the bird soars boldly in the vastness of the air, so I feel my spirit roaming free in the depths and heights and immensity of love. And from Karl Barth, of all creatures, the Christian is the one who not merely is a creature, but actually says yes to being a creature. Now we'll take a couple of minutes of silence to reflect on these readings. And as we move into prayer, we remember, lift up the peoples of Ukraine and Russia, pray for peace there and end to fighting and everywhere where there's war and fighting today. And for all those known to us who are experiencing illness or adversity or any other trouble, that they may be blessed today and that those who care for them may be empowered. The prayer is by Isidore of Seville, who was born in the sixth century. O oh God, great and wonderful, who has created the heavens, dwelling in their light and beauty, who has made the earth, revealing yourself in every flower that opens, let not my eyes be blind to you, neither let my heart be dead, but teach me to praise you, even as the lark which offers her song at daybreak. Amen. And the blessing for today, <clears throat> excuse me, may you experience anew God's great yes to you and to creation. And may this yes set you free to live and love abundantly. <clears throat>